So I bet a lot of you have experienced anxiety as part of many emotions that have come up during this whole pandemic thing. And I'll say, yes, things have gotten a lot better. We're talking now, this is February 2021, but the stress does wear on you because you're always like being careful, wearing a mask, people being nasty, the vibes, the energy that people are putting out. And emotions have been a big part of this whole mental and the whole pandemic has been a whole mental fuck. Even for the most zen person, it's going to affect you. We had to learn how to be in life a whole different way, but with an added level of stress to go along with it. decided to come and give you an update about what's been going on with me so I hope that you'll watch this whole video to get all the details because all in all I want to share my experience of how I've been dealing with the fallout of 2020 and what I'm doing in 2021 hopefully to give you some ideas on how you can roll with these changes because life is never going back to what it was and um, stop waiting for things to get better so you can get back to life it's not going to happen like that i don't know about you but emotional and mental health have taken the front seat in my life over the last year going through the pandemic and literally not knowing so much about what was happening and what was possible or where we might end up with our world everything is so much more uncertain than it's ever been add what ifs fear and crazy people to the mix, and you've got a whole mixed bag of what in the world is happening here. I've spent a lot of my days contemplating, going for walks, breathing deeply. It's everything I could do to keep myself sane and focused. In a world where we're experiencing so many emotions and so many possible fears, the best you can do is breathe. I know it sounds simplified, but honestly, it helps. I've spent a lot of quiet time when I'm not working with my clients, journaling, keeping track of the moon cycles, writing down my list of desires, and continuing to be as optimistic as I can and focus positively for now and into the future. I never stopped continuing forward. When most people stopped frozen in fear, I kept going. I worked harder. I thought about, okay, what are the things I can't do? And what are the things I can do? And what do I want? when this is all over. So a lot of things have changed. Obviously, 
Socializing is a big zero. I haven't seen my friends in over a year. That kind of sucks. Haven't been to my art class, although they have been doing it remotely. It's not the same. No travel, but yes, I am doing some little mini vacays in my own state, which has been enjoyable. No restaurants, obviously, but on the other hand, I've been eating even more help from not going to restaurants, not going out for a cocktail with my friends. Those kind of things have been out of my life for almost a year. And no, I think the thing I miss most is going out to restaurants and going to meet my friends. But on the other hand, I have had so much more positive focus on myself. I've been making delicious vegan recipes and, um, and I'm feeling really great. So some of the things that can really help you deal with all of this is learning how to be a lot more flexible in life. You just have to keep changing things up until it feels better for you. So you have to be willing to be flexible. And one of the things that I've been doing is knowing my plants might change. Like where I'm standing right now. It's way too windy. I'm tending to a lot of plants. I planted a beautiful flower garden last spring and summer but unfortunately our winter weather here killed off some of those plants but there's still some very good uh, there's still a bunch of flowers that are doing really well and this is my Hello, avocado tree which uh, someone gave me but it was quite a bit smaller so yeah I never was doing gardening or planting flowers or taking care of plants but that became part of my life in 2020 and I guess I'm gonna keep doing it because it really has helped it's like doing all that weeding was also weeding my life weeding the insides of me out and I was blooming but then the the winter came and part of me is shriveling and I have been purging a lot more not just emotionally and mentally and spiritually, but physically. Been getting a rid, rid of lots of clothes and shoes and books and all kinds of things that, that when I see them, I'm just like, you know what? I'm so over that. I'm moving on and getting rid of it. So I'm really enjoying purging. And you know, I highly recommend that that's one of the things you decide to do while we're still riding this wave of this pandemic because the more you release from your life whether it's emotional mental physical um, it's room that you're opening up for yourself so i have been doing a lot of releasing and a lot of healing and doing things to raise my vibration and focusing on what I want for the future and really working on aligning myself the best I can in the activities that I'm doing every day to achieve getting to where I need to be when that, so when that time comes, I'm ready. One thing I have learned is life is truly sacred. I appreciate the time that I take just to honor my life, honor life, honor this existence that we all share. As much as there may be challenges in our lives, if we come back home to ourselves, we give ourselves the time and space to just be in whatever moment you're in. Time seems to stop and wait for you. I find simple enjoyments in lighting my wonderful Egyptian incense or reading a book and letting it take me back to the temples of Egypt. of 
which I hope to be visiting again for extended period of time later this year. And sometimes I just indulge in a foot massage. Okay, I'll admit it. I do it every night and I love it. And when I'm not doing that, I pick up my guitar and I enjoy learning something new and focusing on some easy songs that I can enjoy playing and singing to. So the, the last thing I want to leave you with is I want you to know there's always a choice of what path you're choosing to travel. How you think, what you believe, and what you choose to do makes a difference because you'll either believe things that don't feel good or believe that life is just full of difficulties and challenges, and that's gonna really take you on walking a rocky road. But I wanna tell you that Life will always have its ups and downs. We're never gonna get away from that. And the sooner you realize that you have to start living life as it is and working with what you have, working with the knowledge that you have and keeping your eye on a target for better, instead of thinking that you have to eliminate all these difficulties or your life isn't going to be where you want it or it's not going to be good that's just not the way life works we're always going to have challenges we're always going to have something come up that get either lifts us up or feels like it pulls the rug from under us but if you have the mindset and the attitude that this is happening for you seriously when something happens that doesn't feel good, you can acknowledge this feels like crap. But if you keep in mind that this is here because there's something I need to change, there's something I need to do better, there's something I'm gonna learn from this, and you come from that state of mind, then you can get through it quicker and get on to better because everything's happening for you. It's happening to nudge you, to guide you, to align you with what you're asking for. If you are asking for better in your life, you need to be willing to change what's not working for you in your life. So you'll get these opportunities when something comes to you to deal with, it's always nudging you or clearing something, getting something out of your way that's been hindering you or helping you to learn that you need to change a mindset or an emotion or change the way you're doing something. It's going to help align you with what you're asking for. If you can always keep that in mind, it makes the difficulties a little easier to deal with. And it certainly makes your path easier and smoother. Life is truly precious. And I believe that when you take the time to just sit in it, whether it's neat or messy or up or down, it's all valid. It's all teaching us. It's all for a higher reason. And if we slow down long enough and breathe it in, we can learn to enjoy the moments.